Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about my journey into web pen testing. This is a area that I've been neglecting for years, not really so good at it, and I just want to get better at it. So I just wanted to document the journey and showcase what tools I'm using, what I'll be using behind the scenes, how to learn it. If you guys are on that journey or you want to learn as well, watch this video to the end and I'll showcase what resources I'll be using. So if you guys are new to the channel, you know the deal. Please like, subscribe, and share. And let's jump into the video and have some fun. All right, folks. So everyone knows a lot of YouTube channels, and I'll mention those later on in the video that I have documented and I have taken a look at, and I really think they are super, super beneficial. So... I'll say that to the to the end. But obviously, if you were trying to get into web application, and I should also, you know, there's API hacking too, but that's not really web app. Maybe it ties into a little bit. Maybe we can get into some arguments. But web app, we'll go into this today. This is an area that I'm not the best at, and I admit that all the time. So what I've been doing in the back end for the last few months, trying to get more into it, on top of doing my PMPT, which I'll be taking here in the very near future, and I'll be giving a, um, a review on that exam. I'm super, super stoked. And there's a next exam that I'll probably be taking from them about the PJPT, but we'll get into, I mean, PJWT. All right, first things first, Port Swigger. Port Swigger is an awesome, awesome security tool to learn about Burp Suite. And once you go to portswigger.net, you sign up, I already have my account, and we go over here to the Academy, up top here. And in here, you can learn about different techniques, right? New topic, web LLM attacks, which is large language models, which I have no idea about. I just know how to chat GPT and that's it. All right, so we can come down here, we can see that my learning process, I haven't really started anything yet because I'm new to this whole process. So you can hit get started, here and then get started this will give us the man this vm is really slow so we can see web security academy learning paths right so if we're trying to learn api testing this is your practitioner and if we come down we can see all these different kinds of uh paths right so for an example we can start out at you know server-side vulnerabilities. So like we can go look at view uh, view the path and we can see here there's zero out of 52 challenges, I'm guessing. So what is path traversal? And you can get a little bit about path, uh, path traversal. So say for example, we're gonna click get started here. And you can see that, you know, it gives you a little bit of a, you know, layout of it and you can hit continue and so on and so forth. So it will give us a little bit of this uh, you know, I don't want to go on and read this, but you can see what I'm talking about. So let's go back to the Academy. And what you can also, sh I can showcase, obviously I can resume that shortly. And they also have labs and a certification. So if you want to, you know, get your feet wet with Burp Suite, you can become a Burp Suite certified practitioner. And yeah, so I think that's really, really cool, right? So... Yeah, this is a client side, so you can hit resume and we can go through that, but we're not gonna go through that right now. So there's levels, obviously, I'm gonna be in the beginner level, then you have like an intermediate, then you have your expert level, right? So now we can see vulnerability labs, right? We all like to do labs around here, so we can view all here. And the mystery lab challenge, we can say, okay, let's come to the mystery lab. I don't know, you know, put your recon skills to the test. And then we can say, okay, only solve whatever practitioner. How about I'm a beginner? And I guess we have to challenge me, right? So you can hit challenge me. I was checking this out the other night, which I thought was pretty cool. My VM is super slow, so we'll come back to that shortly. And following the username and password list, which is right here, the credentials. And we'll let that cook, right? Here we go. So we have this. We can go to town, you can see this site here, and you know, after learning some stuff, this can be your uh, challenge, right? So, 
Let's go ahead and X out of here because I'm not challenging myself on camera looking like a dum dum live. And at least not yet because I don't feel comfortable doing that. So SQL injection, we can see like, okay, look at SQL injections and you can check out the labs. You know, it's not solved in lab and you can see this, I understand, right? And you can access the lab and you can go to town and you can do your lab, right? Solution, I'm guessing this gives you the solution and community, uh, community solutions. So here goes the main man. He gives you a solution on, you know, different, or I guess there's multiple people. This is pretty cool. So yeah, so this gives you an understanding. This is where I'm going to start even before I do try hack me's and all that stuff. So this is a really, really good entry level beginner point. And this is what I've gotten from the community. So uh, here goes our SQL injection. Here goes our site. So you can see this is what we can test on. But maybe I'll do a walkthrough once I learn it. All right. So the next one here is Bug Crowd. Bug Crowd is obviously a bug bounty program. You can see a whole bunch of lists here. Whoa, this VM, I need to reboot it. So for an example, we can hit like hack. We can do like try hack me, hack me. So you can see hack me and you can see different programs. Wow, this thing is super small and super slow. All right, so the point of this whole video is to showcase some resources on learning web pen testing, web app stuff. It's an area that, you know, I suck at. So this is, um, you know, program details, resources, announcements, uh, CrowdStream, you know, Hall of Fame, blah, blah, blah. Right, so you can see a little bit of, it, of that. You can go check them out, cool deal. The next one is uh, Hacker One. This is another, you know, contract. Excuse me, I, I, I read this up here. Uh, contacted by a hacker. So um, you can do another, you know, bug bounty and all that stuff. Solutions, platform. You can see, okay, learn some stuff, challenges. And you can speak with a security expert. You know, they're, they're putting their bots out right now. But yeah, that's another one. And the next one here is obviously Try Hack Me. So once you go to try hack me, let me go ahead and exit out of here so we don't get those beeps, or well, at least I don't get the beeps. So once we go to try hack me, we can go to learn, learn hands on. And then if we come down, we can see different paths. Let's go to learning paths. And we can come down, we can say, okay, all of these, but we're, we're um, going to web fundamentals. So I guess I started this a long time ago. So web fundamentals, obviously, if you don't know anything about websites and web attacks and stuff like that, this is where you can start, you know, DNS in detail, like what is DNS? What is HTTP? How websites work? This is really, really beginner friendly. So you have section one, section two, walk in an application, uh, content discovery, some subdomain enumeration, authentication bypass, IDOR, et cetera, et cetera. There's some things I do know in here. Uh, maybe I don't give myself enough credit, but I don't like to say I'm a web pen tester because I'm not. So section three is about Burp Suite and all this good stuff, which is really interesting. Uh, and then you have web hack and fundamentals, right? So then we can go through section four. And all right, so if this is a pickle Rick is a web, web, web pen test, uh, I did that one pretty easily. So maybe I'm not giving myself enough credit. But Juice Shop, Juice Shop is pretty cool. And yeah, just go through this and uh, hopefully you come out on top, right? So the next one here is a GitHub repository that I found, which was super, super cool. And this is another resource. Once you're learning, you have all these tools, right? And I just Googled web exploitation resources and I came to this GitHub. So it's a uh, whatever, EA. Oh, e N A Q X slash awesome dash pen test. And I can throw it. If I remember, I'll throw this, this site in the, uh, description. So we can see all the different exploitation tools here. You have intercepting webs, uh, web proxies, burp suite and et cetera, et cetera, web injection tools, uh, uh, web file inclusion tools. So these are all good stuff to, uh, I, I'm actually going to make sure I have this, saved. So now we can jump. And obviously, like I said, I, I have another boatload of resources that I found YouTube channels and all that stuff. And we'll get into that shortly. 
So if you're trying to get into some penetration testing or some certifications, excuse me, what I found was really, really cool, which is something I'm gonna be jumping into after my PMPT, just because I love to show support and love uh, you know, to CCM security. So this is a certification, I think Alex probably put this together because he's a web app guy. So you have the PJWT. That's gonna be another, a new one for me to remember. I've been saying PJPT, PJPT for fucking forever. All right, so now we have a PJWT, right? So practical junior te web tester, All right? So, you know, you have, it's pretty much as similar to the PJPT, right? You have two full days and two full days to write a report. And in order to, you know, get your certification, you need to exploit a web application, use any, you know, preferred tools or techniques, and then provide a, uh, provide a detailed professional written report. Right. So who is this program for anyone that wants to get into web application development and gain more experience on the web uh, on the security side? This is me, a beginner, right? Web application penetration test and looking to validate their skills. Definitely me. And those who complete the practical bug bounty course. And people who have keen interest in web applications. Right. So what training should you use? you know, prepare, right? That's probably the next thing. So as it says here, the practical web, uh, practical bug bounty course that covers web application testing, recon and information gathering, attacks and exploitation techniques and automated tools and reporting. So from what this is saying, just this course will get you prepared for the PJWT. And if you want to take it the next level here that they just dropped was the PWPT, which is Practical Web Penetration Tester. And this is going to take it to that next notch, probably more like the P PMPT. But let's see. So, but this one is three full days. It's not five like the PMPT. And you're going to go ahead and exploit a web application. Same, pretty much same thing, probably just more, you know, you know, more uh, exploits or more vulnerabilities and and like I says, raise, con raise conditions, mass assignments, SSRF, template injections, and more. So I'm sure it's going to be similar. What uh, how do we get prepared for this? How do we prepare? So in this one, we do the practical web hacking, and then API hacking. So maybe there's some APIs on there. And so there's you know the bug bounty one is not included but i'm guessing once you have that level you should be good to go into the practical web testing right so that's for web application testing and if you want to you know i'll show some love to offensive security so offensive security has like the oscp they're known for their oscp and if you come down here into their web application security you have the Web 200, which is Fundamental Web Application ass Assessments with Kali Linux. I think it's the W, yeah, OSWA, which is Offsec Web Assessor. <clears throat> and then you have the OSWE, which I don't think I'll ever get because for obvious reasons. And I don't know if I want to go that far into web apps. But yep, that's pretty much that. Now let's go ahead and go to YouTube. I wanted to save this one for last and show these, if I can spell, show love where love is, uh, where love is, is shown, right? So, oh man, I'm not even signed. Oh, I am signed in. All right. So now we can show love to some folks. So gnome sec, I mean, hopefully I, I spelled it right because I, uh, sec, I think it's like that. So, uh, gnome sec, yeah. And, uh, he has some awesome stuff. Let me go ahead and, uh, pause this. So he has some office. Also, I said office stuff, awesome stuff. And, um, he's doing amazing things for bug bounties and web app stuff. And the next one is Stoke. Stoke is pretty cool. I don't know if he's doing, um, I don't know if he's doing much anymore. Let's see if, uh, I don't know if he took his his channel down. 
Uh, Stoke. Maybe I spelled his name wrong. Is it S-T? Oh, man, how do I spell his name? Stoke? I thought that's how we spell it. I remember him quitting his YouTube, so I don't know if he actually deleted his YouTube or if I'm just spelling it wrong. Let me see, Stoke Hacking. There we go. Oh yeah, of course I spelled it wrong. All right, so it's like that. I don't know how he did that fancy thing, but this is Stoke. He has some awesome stuff too. I've been watching his videos earlier on. I haven't watched his videos in a while. And you have uh, Insider PhD, which is another one. If I can spell Insider PhD. Okay. Oh, I spelled this thing wrong. Or oh, her thing. Um, so Insider PhD is super, super good. I watched her stuff, and obviously we were part of the advert of Cyber last year, which was pretty cool. So she's amazing. And one more I got here, which is uh, the obvious, John Hammond. So John obviously is all over the place with his stuff, but... Let's see if he has playlists of web app stuff. I'm not sure, but he has a whole bunch of awesome, awesome stuff that you can, you know, I'm sure you guys know his channel already. Like, you know, uh, do, 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 do. let's see if he has any, like, this is his older stuff, but he has some awesome stuff with, uh, I don't really watch him for web app. I watch him for, uh, you know, all the other cool stuff he's doing, but those are the, uh, YouTube channels that I would recommend. There's so many more, right? There's TCM Security, but obviously I recommended their site. And yeah, if you have any questions and if there's something that I missed, there's so many, you know, resource this hack the box as well. And, but these are the ones that I want to start off with. I don't like to overwhelm myself with all these resources. I just had five resources that I'm going off of. And I just wanted to share that with you guys and what I'm doing and how I'm learning my web app stuff. But if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.